dusty niggas too. Because that's another problem. Because when black men are productive, when black men do get stuff popping, the first people who try to tear it down before the white people are the dusty niggas. The dusty Sambo niggas who ain't got nothing going on. Their jealousy and their emotionalism kicks in and then they want to try to sabotage it. So we got to do something about that. So that's where codification comes in. That's why shout out to the mafia. You know, the mafia, you know, they, they created their own, well, just the Italian community. The mafia was like a policing system to a certain degree. People who got off code, they kind of handled that stuff in house. You, you dig? So I couldn't be mad at that to a certain degree. But let me get some more folks in here. Because we got a lot of people in here. And shout out to everybody who's staying up, chopping up game with this. Uh, let's go um, Susu. Hop on, Susu. Mr. Susu. Turn your microphone on, Susu. All right, Susu, let's try it again. Hey, what's up, what's up, Tariq? Uh, uh, this is uh, Amula from uh, Wakanda. I want to convert to FBA from Mufasa. You want to convert to FBA? Correct. Okay, well, first, you got you, you to get some deodorant. That's first, if you want to convert. You got to get some deodorant. Okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 and and then baptize yourself in that with some Epsom salt. That's 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 the second thing. You, you baptize yourself to, with that. He's dude, he's a comedian, bro. And then maybe you can pass off his FBA. We got to see what your hairline looks like, though. All right. All right, let me get some more people in here. Uh, uh, my is All right, like nigga, go go deliver your Uber orders, nigga. All right, let me get some more people in here. All right, let me talk to some sisters. Y'all sisters pop up here. Let me get some let me get some feminine energy in here. Let me talk to the sisters. Um, is that Flacco? Shout out to Flacco. Shout out to my brother Flacco. That's Flacco. I was with Flacco today. I was on um No Jumper. Shout out to my brother Flacco. We had a great conversation earlier today. Everybody say what's up to Poetic Flacco. Um I don't know. It, it takes sometimes when I do interviews on No Jumper, it takes a few weeks for it to come out. I hope this comes out soon because I think we had a great conversation today. We were chopping it up on No Jumper today. So we got an interview coming out pretty soon. That's going to be a good one. And Flacco is my guy. He's a non FBA brother, but Flacco is my guy. Okay, let's get Levante. Let's get Levante in here. All right, Levante. Oh, what's up the week? What's going on, Levante? Hey, uh, I ordered some root work deodorant, but I didn't get the buck breaking DVD in the mail. Can you please, you know, just FaceTime me, you know, a live edition of buck breaking? Right. Um, I will. I, you know what? I, I think I know what happened to your order. They delivered it to the wrong trailer. The trailer <laughs> is across the street from yours. Oh, uh, because yeah, there was no mailbox in the front. Yeah, there was no mailbox in the front. Yeah, oh. your, your your radiator was covering up the mailbox because the trailer. So yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna I'm tell my I'm gonna tell my office to make sure that you know they deliver it to the right trailer park. All right, so you're gonna get your root work deodorant. So you know we serve the uh, mayonnaise community as well. All right, let's get some other people. Let's get um. Vlad Sun in here. Let's get Vlad Sun. What's up, Vlad Sun in here? Vlad Sun. All right. Vlad Sun. If you want to turn your microphone on, that'll be great. All right. So I guess he don't really have it popping yet. Okay. Vlad Sun, you ready? Okay, somebody's grandpa don't know how to work the phone. All right. Let's get um sanctioned. Let's get sanctioned in here. Sanctioned. All right. Hello. What's up, sanctioned? Yeah, what's up? 
I joined because of Flaco. Right, I'm not too sure what's going on, but I'm down to uh, listen. Okay, you you requested to get on. Did you request by mistake? No, I requested, but I, I'm not too informed on what's going on. Okay. All right, so what you need to do, brother, just drop back down and listen. Just listen to what's happening. You should request if you don't know what's going on. Brother. This is the kind of nigga that just show up to the damn government office and demand an EBT card. My like, nigga, no, sir. This is for women and children. I ain't got no kids. I need a card. This nigga confused for nothing. Where my EBT? Well, sir, you don't have any children. I don't give a damn. I'm here. I done drove. I done showed up. Shit. Where's my EBT? Just confused for no reason. That's another thing, man. Let's stop this confusion. Niggas, we don't need confused niggas out here no more. See, that's why niggas be drinking that lean and smoking that dirt weed. Y'all fucking with that Reggie. We don't need confused niggas out here no more. Everybody got to be on top of their game. Get off that damn narcotic. So niggas ain't confused out here no more. A lot of confused dudes. Day, Dazer. Hey, Terry. What's up, brother? How are you? <laughs> Day zero. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, um, real quick. I wanted to know what, what you thought about the possibility of, well, let me reframe it. So we know that uh, white supremacy or white supremacist suspect um, operate in all fashions of the government, you know, and really all nine areas of activity. Um, and so we know like back in the day they had like MK Ultra uh, or, you know, these programs that white supremacist military and, you know, all apparatus of, you know, enforcement that they run. What do you think that uh, or, you know, how do you think that today that's being used, especially against, uh, you know, this this operation yeah, of the, okay, race okay, war going on? OK, yeah, I, you know, some of those programs are definitely still in use. You know, there, there's a constant level of warfare against us. And we we we've seen how they used to do it when we see some of those declassified documents, how they used to do stuff back in the day. And it, look, the technology is way more advanced now. So the surveillance is still real. The targeting and the manipulation is still real. The programming is still real. Going back to the whole sexy red Sukihana thing, that's programming. When they constantly show you images like that, that does something to the psyche of the black community. That does something to the psyche of white society. It makes you devalue the, the black community. Like, why should we care about a missing black woman when I just watch Sukihana and Sexy Red pop coochie on videos all day? It's that type of mentality that reinforces the anti-black racism that's already there. And it also devalues... Um, many of us within our community like well, this is only this is what we should attain to be we shouldn't attain for higher learning or intellect we can get fame notoriety and resources by just busting and open and popping it so that's programming they sit up in think tanks and come up with this type of stuff and there's a reason why they promote it with our faces on it they promote degenerate culture to us they don't do that with white society. And if they do it with white society, they have to attach us to it. Just like with Miley Cyrus, when she was doing all of that goofy twerking, they made sure to surround her around a bunch of black women. Notice that once she cleaned herself up, then they put her back around white folks. You see, so we got to understand the programming that goes there. All right, let's go to Vlad. Let's go to Vlad. Are you ready? The Vlad guy. Yes, sir. How you doing, Tariq? Okay. Where you from, brother? I'm good. I'm from Russia. How you been? Okay. First of all, man, you're not from Russia. You sound chubby and moist. Okay. You sound like a big portly moist nigga. And why are you whispering and why are you trying to talk with a fake accent, dude? I need, I need help. I need help. Help me! Okay. <laughs> Look, if somebody's kidnapped you, I need you to call um, the bussy 
kidnapped hotline. Sound like somebody's kidnapped you and they're about to rape you. All right, so call. You have to call my no, son, Vlad. No, 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 no. <laughs> Brother, cover your bussy up. Cover, cover your bussy and run. All right. Just do that. That's all I can do for you, brother. I don't think calling 911 is going to help. Just cover your bussy and run for the hills. All right. If they're doing something to you. All right. That nigga's going to run across the freeway like Tina Turner. And what's love got to do with it? Run to a hotel and say, hey, there's somebody <laughs> chasing my bussy. I need a room. <laughs> and hopefully they give you a room till you get you some help. <laughs> Uh, he, he's having a spat with his boyfriend. <laughs> I think that's a domestic spat, right? That you have it, brother. You and your boo thing fell out and he jumped on you. I, I, I can't really give domestic violence advice to a dude. That's something you're going to have to work out yourself. Just fight back. I know you're the bitch in the relationship, but you're still a man. Fight back, nigga. All right, let's get Twizzle. Hop in, Twizzle. Oh, wait, speaking of a man, see. hold on. Shout out to T.S. Giselle. I see you down there. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. Wait. Man, Girl. please don't please. I, I, I got to do man. it. I got to do it. Please. I gotta please do don't bring her up, man. We don't need <laughs> T.S. Grizzly up here, man. <laughs> wait, T.S., was that T.S.? Was a, I, I think one of your victims just left your your, your hotel room, T.S. Giselle. Hop on, T.S. She's supposed to be in high. Hey, what's, right what's, what's up? What's I mean, I mean. What's up, y'all? It's it's your boy. I mean, your girl. Your girl. <laughs> it's your girl, T.S. Nigel. Oh, well, oh, this is a fake T.S. Giselle. Hold on, wait. I thought it was the film. <laughs> this is, okay, this is it's another. It's y'all favorite linebacker. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought this was the real one. This is a, this is T.S. Nigel. Okay, this is another one. My bad. It's all over the place tonight. My bad. All right, but Twi Twizzle, what's up, brother? It's just insane tonight. Oh, what's, what's up, up with a player, man? You understand I'm me? Good. What's up with a player, man? Hey, man, I'm good. this shit right here, man, I thought that was T.S. Grizzly. I'm like, man, you want T.S. Grizzly? They got Transformers Optimus Prime out right now, man. You understand yeah. me? Man. But, yeah, I just got two, man. I'm in and I'm out. I just got two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got two questions, man. All right. You know, with this 50th anniversary with hip hop coming out and you doing your documentary and everything, yeah. I think you're gonna have to do a part two West Coast style, man. Because yeah. with this with the 50th, they're not giving no people from the West Coast like Egyptian Lover, right. Rodney O. Joe Cooley, Too Short, especially MC Hammer. They're not giving nobody no respect on the West Coast. It seemed like the 50th anniversary is all East Coast shit. You know, and some of them niggas is whack as hell. You know what I'm saying? And then the second thing is. Are you going to do something for New Year's Eve down there for the museum? Like, are you going to throw, like, a New Year's Eve or, you know, since the museum the been around, you, you bring yeah, most, in the New Year's? Yeah, mm -hmm. most likely we are. You know yeah, most likely we are. We're going to definitely do some stuff around the holiday. So, yeah, that's definitely. I'm coming down for that. Yeah, no, if you no do doubt. something New Year's Eve, I'm coming down, man. But, no, hey, no. I land my plane there, man. Thank you, brother. Hey, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. But, yeah, we got um at the museum, you know, we got a West Coast history section there so we you know we we know the importance of understanding west coast hip-hop so we got a section about west coast hip-hop at the museum let me get my brother flacco in here what's up Yo, flacco? hey what's up flacco yo listen man uh I, I forgot to ask you this right um and during our interview man so i was trying to get your like take on this man so have you seen um the iso speed clip man where he bowed down yeah. Uh, to the white CEO of Twitch. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. They got that dude be doing the most, man. They 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 be, <laughs> they, they be tuning it up a little bit too much. <laughs> that's that's why they love that guy, man. He he's a funny guy, <laughs> kind of a naturally funny dude, but he kind of he kind of you know pushes the envelope to cooning just a little taste. He pushes that coon. I'm not gonna call him a coon. All all right, just an all out coon, but he pushes that envelope. But um, <laughs> I, you know, I want my brother to be successful. But I saw that it's like he's a child though, right? Like, do you blame, for example, right? So, and who do you like put the blame on that he don't know, like not to never bow down to no white man? Yeah, well, hopefully he'll he'll learn because I don't want them people to turn on him because see, black folks like that man think, well, I got all of these followers. <laughs> 
got like 20 million um, YouTube subscribers. So he thinks, hell, I'm in. And these cats don't know that um, people will turn on them. You understand? They'll turn on the cat. And, you know, I just they just need to understand that there is something called white supremacy. And just because they're feeling you one day, they will turn on you at the drop of a hat. So when, yeah, but, yeah. We did, when is that going to drop? Um, Probably like in like a week and a half or two weeks. Okay, good, good. Yeah, the right. picture. Yo, the, one the, last question, Tariq. Yeah, go ahead. I'm and sorry? also the the pictures we took today. I I want to say send those to me. I want to see them so I can post them up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah right, yeah, right. So uh, uh and I, I can have that to you like by tomorrow. Oh, that'd be good. Yes, good. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah right. And uh, one last question, right? Listen, yeah. our next interview, Tariq. I I'm trying to bring a bunch of. Eating Joel off, right? You feel me? And it got taste test. Would we be down for that? Yeah, oh, God. Should I do it, guys? Should I have a Joel off? <laughs> yeah, come on now, you know. It might be a tether. It might be a tether who tries to poison me. So I don't it might know be a tricky for me. <laughs> for me. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it might be a tether. Right, man. <laughs> we'll see. I appreciate you, right. Tariq. Please. Yeah, yeah. Flocker were trying to get me to get eat Joloff. I don't know. They want to have a Joloff contest um, to, for me to taste Joloff. I don't know. It might be a tether. They might try to slip some in the Joloff. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But we did a great interview, though. The interview, we dropped some good game. Let me get my brother Black Alpha Network in here to let us know what's going on down there. Brother Black Alpha, let's speak on it, brother. Black Alpha. Waiting on Black Alpha to come on in. Peace and peace. What's up, Brother Tariq? How you doing, family? I'm good, man. What is going on down there on the ground, brother? Oh, man. It's been crazy, brother. I've been going in the streets, you know, from project to project, neighborhood, and just checking everybody. Everybody is on code, but they're on high alert. They're on very high yeah. alert. A lot of these strange white supremacists that have been coming around our spaces, they've been seeing brothers and sisters spotting them. So they've been kind of trying to avoid us right now. So brothers and sisters mm. are on high alert. You know how you all talk about that FBA head nod when there be two of us in the place and we just kind of look at each other? Yeah. Brother, yeah, yeah. I, I've been seeing a lot of that. Brothers and sisters are kind of looking out for each other and watching each other because we're really, you know, we're questioning this official word. A lot of brothers and sisters understand that we got to look out for ourselves because when you hear this story and they keep flip-flopping that this guy first went to the family dollar, then he drove all the way down the street to Everett Waters, then he drove all the way back to the Dollar General and the Jacksonville Sheriff Office is right across the street. So brothers and sisters ain't really going for it right now, brother. They watching heavy, right. you know. So you know, I, right. I want yeah, I want to tell everybody out there that's been watching the news and everything that's been going on out here in the streets. Brothers and sisters are really on code. Uh, they're not really going for the peace and forgiveness thing. We just understand that whatever we do, we got to look out for each other, man. So I want to send a salute to you and everybody else out there, man. We stay on code. Man, no doubt, man. And keep us posted with what's going on out there, brother. That's my brother, Black Alpha Network. He's out there in Jacksonville on the ground, and he's doing good work and just keeping everybody informed about what's really going on. Yeah, yeah it, it, that seems fishy, you know, the whole thing. We got to understand these little white supremacists who pop up doing stuff like this, there's a lot of them. They have these little connections with law enforcement. Like up there in Buffalo, a lot of folks forgot in Buffalo – they found out that the guy, the killer, he was corresponding with some kind of ex-officer, and they never said anything else about it. They, they were looking at some of his chat records and chat logs, and he was corresponding with some people in law enforcement before he killed all those people in Buffalo. And then they never said anything else about it. And so understand, these are not no damn lone wolves. These are very coordinated and organize white supremacists who pull these things off. We got to understand white supremacy is like a, it's a religion. So they do just like Al Qaeda. They do jihads, man. We have to look at it like that. And we don't have to wait on them to confess this. They sit up here and deny it, but they're just like Al Qaeda. They'll do a damn religious jihad. They'll, they go on suicide missions for their religion. You understand? This is how serious it is. And they sit up here and pump these folks up to go on these damn religious jihads. And when you have a sitting governor who's sitting up here pumping these people up, getting these ready, getting these people ready for a religious jihad, that's significant. And you never keep the, the gas off of um, DeSantis. 
you got to make him complicit in all of this. Never take the responsibility off him. Robbie Blue, hop on, brother. Peace, peace. Black, how you doing, brother? Um, but you're very low, you're brother, very Bobby. Low, brother Bobby. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me better now? A little bit better. You're still very low. Okay, I got to get you off, brother. You get you off. Shit, that's janky. Okay. Yeah, your connection is very janky, brother. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, that is janky. Then there's feedback. I don't know what that is, Robbie. I, I tried to get you back a little later, but that was a janky connection. Smaze, is that your name, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Tariq. I got a question what's, for you. What's up? Now, first of all, Smaze, where are you from, brother? Uh, British Columbia, Canada. There you go. So what's on your mind? Well, there's this there's this uh this this nigga named fucking Y Ween going around saying the N-word on Twitter spaces. I need to help you to week I we're, and we're gonna use Levante who's in the listeners. We need to tune his ass up because he's being anti Semitic. He's he we need to I am actually gonna watch your movie Buck Breaking and I'm gonna buck break his ass with Levante. And I, I'm actually gonna buy this movie and I'm gonna buy your book. We're gonna fucking tune his ass up together. He's been disrespecting the real FBA niggas. I'm tired of this shit. Okay, so um, yeah, why don't y'all white supremacists ever come up with some good material? No, this you is the thing. I, I'm, I'm actually going to start listening and reading about the FBA stuff. So don't worry. I'll even leave the mic so I'll, I'll stop irritating you. Boy, you got, God, man, you guys have no good material. No, no, You're not no, witty. We're going to get them. I'll, I'll even uh, drop the listeners. I, we're going to fucking tune his ass up. No one. Man, no wonder you have to depend on white supremacy. God, you guys are the most non-creative people on earth you don't have any creativity no game no innovation just unfunny material i could give you credit if the material was funny it's just not funny damn y'all just kill the energy of the room with unfunny troll material you get white supremacists are the worst no wonder y'all sit up in your trailer park looking at black dildos on amazon all day damn Y'all keep black dick on the brain. No wonder. Y'all stay on Wish app looking for discount dick. Boy, y'all sit up thinking about black folks. We are on your brains all day. We are rent free in your brains. Good Lord. And you're not witty worth a damn. All right, let's get this brother. Um, I don't know what your name is, brother, but hop on. Uh, hop on, brother. What's going on, my beautiful people? Uh, my name is, you know, it doesn't even matter. Uh, I wanted to ask, you know, what FBA was, and I mean that genuinely because I didn't know. You know what FBA? And if I, you if I, you've been listening to us, uh -huh. listen, do do do. You know what FBA is. You know what a foundational Black American is. If you've been listening to us for more than two minutes, you know what an FBA is. So, what's your real question? My real question is, what is the what is the political implications of of uh of the the fba movement um a political implication where where's your what's your lineage where are you from you mean am i black what's your lineage where you're from where's your family from well well we don't we don't know all that dude what's your lineage where is your family all from right, so stop being ashamed your lineage is it east africa somalia eritrea Ethiopia? yeah it, it would be it would be east africa and palestine my father is palestinian my my mother's side is east africa sorry uh, west africa east my bad west okay how do you get that mixed up what part of west africa i'm sorry what part of west africa uh, burkina faso okay what's the political implications of a person from burkina faso How do you mean? The, yeah, you asked what's the political implications of a foundational black American. So that that question would apply to you as well. You mean it makes the, no sense. It makes it makes no sense, does it? Well, well, I asked because uh, it makes most, no sense. Most it, black it, people it, it that I know. in Well, I asked because most most black people that I know in America don't identify as American. And so I'm. Do, my question is, what is the point of? What do you mean they don't as identify American? as American? What What do you mean they don't identify as American? What does that mean? What are they identify? What do you think black people in America identify as? 
I think black people in America, by and large, identify as African people who are in America uh, against their will. No, they don't. No, 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 we don't. No, no, we don't. Yeah, so that's why I was that's why I was asking about FBA because in my black circles, you know, we don't consider ourselves Americans simply because of the historical because relationship. You're not. So I want to know why not, you. So I want to know because, why y'all do consider. Because we are the foundation of America. We actually built the country from scratch. You come from an immigrant, so that's why you don't consider yourself an American because you're, you're ethnically you're not. You're in, um, a West African ethnically, which is fine. We're not, you know, we're genetically. No, no, no. African. My fam, my family has been in in Maryland and the Pacific. Uh, the the has been in the Maryland area for generations. First, since first slavery. gen. But no, 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 no. Because you can't be from Palestine and West Africa and been over here since slavery. My no. mother's my mother's side of the family is black. Like came over on the ships, lived in Maryland for generations. How so? Where, where, how, you said there were some people from Palestine and West Africa, so that don't my make sense. My father, half of my family is from Palestine. The other half is from America. From the There's only two halves. There's only two halves, the mom and the dad. And you can't right. have a third family member. My father's who is- side is Palestinian. My mother's side is from Africa, from the slave trade. Came over here from the, uh, the, the transatlantic slave trade. No, well, how did where, where did West? That don't make no sense, man. Where does West Africa come in? You didn't get your lie straight, brother. You're lying. You didn't get your lie straight. What, dude? What you're saying ain't making sense. You said half your family was from Palestine and the other half is from West Africa. Now you're saying somebody came over on a slave ship. That makes no sense. Okay, which coast did the did the transatlantic slave trade happen on? If I'm mistaken, Sir. it happened on the Sir, West Coast, these, right? Was well, no, they were getting people from all over the place. There were people coming in from Madagascar, not Madagascar, but um, from Zanzibar, from all over Africa. What not yeah, just yeah, the West right, Coast? But, but but you said uh-huh. you're from Burkina Faso. So what are you talking about? That's that's what we that's what we think we know, right? My mother's part oh, do, of the family. You, okay. think, do you you um, you? You're five dollar. You're trying to be a five dollar FBA. You're making stuff up as you go. Now you say you think you're from Burkina Faso. No, you're no, just brother, making. Listen, I'm genuinely up. asking you a question, like brother to brother, like for real. But no, but I you're not a... telling the truth. But you, you, bruh, bruh, don't be ashamed of being who you are. You're not a foundation. You don't have foundation of Black American lineage. Don't act. I, we don't like that five dollar FBA shit where people try to. That's what tethers do. You're not FBA. Nobody's FBA in your family, and that's fine. But don't try that, that shit. Don't try that. You're clearly not FBA. You're not a foundational black American. Right. So and I'm just trying to understand what that is. You made it you know what it for is. no reason. <laughs> I, I'm not. Well, I'm asking you a question. I'm not being hostile, but you're lying. You're sitting here and your lies don't but make that's sense. But that's what I'm you, saying. You're calling me a liar. I asked you a question. But, yes. I asked because you, question about you, didn't, you, didn't think you're, you didn't think your lie out, sir. What do you, you mean? Did? Because you sat here and said your family's from Burkina Faso, then Palestine, and now you're saying that they came from the slave ships here in America, and is, that is is Burkina Faso not in West Africa? Are the Burkina so Bay what, people not? Sir, are Burkina Bay not West Africa? But sir, you said that your family's from Burkina Faso. We, as foundational Black Americans, we don't trace our stuff back to Burkina Faso. We don't trace them back so to wait, specific so, places. So, so that's the question I'm asking, right? That's the question I'm asking. Foundational uh-huh. Black Americans do not consider themselves to to be Africans. You consider yourself to be only Americans. Yeah, genetically, we African. Uh huh. Do right. Do Jamaicans genetically they're African, but Jamaicans uh-huh. they're their own ethnic group. We are all we are our own ethnic group. We're not okay. African. Okay. Okay. We're so. Our own ethnic group. Okay. How's that hard so, to understand? We're our own ethnic group. For example, uh, what what African country can we go to and just get easy citizenship by just walking in there? What African country? Name it. Well, without war, none of them. Right. So we ain't African. I'm a foundational Black American. That make it's that simple. It is that okay. simple stuff. Yeah. And so and so. 
So what does that mean for the 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 relationship between uh, black people in America and uh, Africans on the continent? Right. Because if you are a foundational black American. Right. And mm-hmm. you, and you and you are an American. Right. America is currently committing war crimes in the name of Americanism in Africa. And with so people are who, your who, homeland. Who so are the places in your homeland. Say it again. So are the places in your homeland. In your family's homeland. They're, they're doing the same I, thing. I would say our homeland. Well, yours, because that's where you're directly from. You are from that immediate bloodline. And my family, nobody in my family has been in Africa for damn near half a millennia, dude. Nobody. You come directly from there. Now, genetically, we have you know, African lineage, but my lineage ethnically has been here for centuries. So there's so a my whole... Mother's. Different- but no, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I think that you're probably a first generation immigrant. Your mother, I don't believe that your mother came out of slavery in America. I don't believe it, sir. Why be don't you believe that? Because you've already been caught in about three or four lies on the phone. So I don't believe that. I think that you're just saying stuff. What lie um, did I tell? Um, you uh, Again, I've already told you the lies that you told. You've already said that your family's from Burkina Faso. Then you said you think you're from Burkina Faso. It, it don't work like that. You named a specific place and then you said, well, I guess I'm from there. That makes no sense, sir. All right. Can I and ask you a question? That, and, you're, and you're doing if, what if a lot of people do. Uh, if you were to also, take a guess about also, where your family was also, in Africa, what would the, you say? Hold on. So, and also, that's what a lot of tethers do. They sit here and just lie and just keep lying. That's kind and of what's a tether. tether? That's a tether. That's a non-FBA person who tries to lie about being a foundational Black American while they're trying to undermine us. That's what a tether is. So, so, so a a sec for so a second generation African American would not be a foundational Black American, right? Because you come from an immigrant background, and we're not okay. immigrants. None of us. Okay. As a foundational Black American, there's not one immigrant in my family. None. So then, if you're a foundational Black American, are FBAs uh, are FBAs proud of the of the of the of the slavery? Then, because what some, is, because what makes some you American, could be some couldn't some could be uh-huh. some couldn't. Our pride doesn't take away from our lineage. No matter if you're proud or not, you're still a foundational Black American. If you're a self-hating foundational Black American, you're still a foundational Black American. So your pride doesn't make a difference whatsoever. That's inconsequential. Your lineage is your lineage. We have a very unique lineage, which makes us foundational Black Americans. So whatever ideology you have on top of that, that's a non sequitur. You understand? So are FBA, uh, uh, the people who follow the FBA ideology and other black people, are they like, can they not be linked up in political struggle? What's the ideology? Uh, well, I mean, it, well, I guess it would. Because I've never said anything your... about an ideology. That's you. You're talking about an ideology. No, no, no. I, I don't know I'm what an ideology is. What's an FBA asking. ideology? I, I don't, I, I technically don't understand what it is, which is why I'm trying to find out from you. I, you're the one talking about an ideology. I'm talking about a lineage. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. So it's a cultural thing. No. Okay. So if it's not, if FBA what, what isn't part, political, what part of lineage if it's don't not you understand? Cultural. What part of what part of lineage don't you understand? I've said lineage about ten times, and I, I kind of that goes in one ear and out the other. What part of lineage don't you understand? Do you are you under the impression that you don't get culture from lineage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all that. But you keep talking about culture and ideology, culture and lineage. That's something else. Culture and ideology is something else. Our right. culture so I'm, is, so what I'm trying to figure our out. Our culture is, is based on our lineage. You keep talking okay. about culture and ideology. And that's where you're losing me because I don't know what you're talking. So about. the lineage is American lineage, right? Yes. Foundational black American lineage. OK, right. So. If that's the case, there are there are, I would say, a significant portion of people in America who are black, who don't identify as foundational black American, who that doesn't don't change see the- their lineage as coming from America. Right. Um, do you think that the people who think like this and FBA who believe they are Americans can be linked up in political struggle? Like, for example, 
I know you guys were talking earlier about the uh, the the massacre that just happened in Florida, right? Uh, would foundational Black Americans and people who are not foundational Black Americans who are Black be linked up in political struggle for you know things that they think are important? They can do that, but that has nothing to do with FBA lineage. What does that have to do with the lineage of FBA? I, do, I I'm not even on that for real. I I wanted to know what FBA is about. I didn't come to start trouble. I really just came to understand. Nobody said you did, dude. Why are you so defensive? Nobody said you started because trouble. Because you called me a liar for no reason. Because you you said and something just that was just not question. true. You said your family was right, from we, Burkina we can agree so to then disagree. So no, how about we, we no, start over? No, no, you said no, no. That's not agree to disagree. You just lied, or you're lying now. You said your family was from Burkina Faso, and then you said, "Well, I guess we're from there." Then you said they were, you know, your mama was foundational black American, which I don't believe, sir. Well, my mother doesn't consider herself foundational black American. Because, because she's an immigrant. Because she's an immigrant, sir. Your mother's an immigrant. an immigrant. Oh, uh, yes, she is. Your mother's not FBA. Your mother doesn't, doesn't come from our lineage. I don't believe you. My my family has a family center in Annapolis named after them. We've lived here don't, for hundreds of years. I, no, I, don't I can give you the name of the center right now. You can Google it. <laughs> I, I don't believe you, sir. It's called the Rosa Lee Mitchell Community Center in Edgewater, Annapolis, Maryland. Google it right it's now. It's called the International House of Injera because you guys are from somewhere in East Africa, I believe, and y'all have Injera and Camel. Nigga, you a fucking fraud, bro. You ain't no, fraud. Um, yeah, dude, absolutely. and you are lying okay, tether. Fraud. You are, and you are big forehead lying tether, and you got you mad are because you've been lying, nigga. You are dude, fraud. Get your, your get your little, get your big, get, ain't no get such your thing big as head. no fucking foundational get, black American. Get, you cool get your, ass, um, um, boodoo. Umbudu, get your big forehead lying ass in your Uber and deliver them orders. You just got mad because you tried to tether onto our lineage. You're lying about your mammy. Your mama's not FBA. Your mama's a big musty ass laundromat assistant somewhere down in little Haiti somewhere or wherever. You want to be FBA. Stop faking the funk. You're mad because you got called out. We don't want to have so no you hate being FBA. African, right? That's what. It oh, no, stop it. Stop it. You hate being African because your ass fled. You the one who fled, nigga, not me. You fled your so ass. So you, you, you hate yourself, you right? You fled. Internal, it's internalized anti-Africanism, right? Um, um, boo too. You're the one who fled. You're, you're proud of slavery. You're the one who fled, Umbutu, big forehead and all. I didn't flee. I'm staying where I'm supposed to be in my home. You can home. call names. Dude, but you and you fled. You fled and you're mad and you're trying to get us on the, the flea train with you. No, nigga. I'm an FBA. I'm a foundational black American. My family, we stand up and fight. We don't turn tail and run like your ass. That's what we don't do. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Y'all niggas crazy. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, indeed. So, yes, what you need to do. Wow. Is, no, but for real. But for real, stop trying to pretend to be FBA. Nigga, we know who's FBA or not. Don't try to be All no right, I'll, I'll accept that, right? Okay, just right. for the sake of moving it forward. I'm uh -huh. a, I'm not FBA. I'm not from the I know this. All right. All right, right. This. Now, now where are you from? Now, do, now where are you from? FBA the truth? No, 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 power? No, 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 no. Power no, in no, the American no. state? Boo -boo, do you boo -boo -boo power boo -boo. in the American state? Nigga, I'm here to boo -boo -da -da. talk about power. I don't want to talk about... Hold on, Boo Boo Dada. Where, tell the truth. Where are you from? Where are you from, for real? I'm not here for that dumb, empty-headed shit. Boo -boo, no, no, Boo Boo Dada. You're not going to sit here and run your damn mouth. Empty-headed. No, no, empty -headed. Boo, -boo, Boo Boo Dada. Boo -boo Does Dada. FBA seek power? Boo Boo Dada. We FBA, aren't gonna, we ain't fleeing, nigga. That's the only important thing you need to know. That's what you need to know, Boo Boo Dada. All right? Don't sit here and try to switch it up because we caught you lying. That's another thing. See, y'all tethers got to stop all the lying and the faking the funk and f frauding all the damn time. That's the problem we have. And then want to have the nerve to talk about building something. Nigga, you've been on this phone lying your ass off left and right. We know our people as FBA. We know. I can hear it in your voice, nigga. I can hear it in your voice. You sound like you just ate some baklava, nigga. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it. I can tell. We know you ain't one of us, dude. So do you seek power? 
we we seek not to flee, nigga. You're not at liberty to ask if okay, we seek power. Okay, you're not going to flee. Fled. But how are you going to... How, how was somebody who fled talking about, do we seek power? And you fled from your homeland. You're not even at liberty to ask me that, dude. You're not at liberty to ask me or any other foundation of black American about their how power. I, if I'm an immigrant, how am I responsible for what... And, and you got your power shoes on so you can run. You're not at liberty to ask me about no damn power. We're doing what we supposed to damn do, which is not flee, my nigga. All right? Let's get that straight, Baba Dude. How am I anyway, responsible for what my parents did? Um, anyway, get off my phone, Baba Dude, because I don't want to hear tether babble. Let me get my brother McAl in here. This is just tether babble. What's up, brother McAl? <laughs> <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Great <laughs> minister of code. Yes, sir. How they <laughs> how they continue to try and mislead and deceive us. Yes, indeed. Brother. Man. Look, that was an interesting round of hunter gatherism we were just listening to. There's <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's <laughs> Pan Africanism and then there's hunter gatherism. He's over here in Africa, I call him or people like him elevator tethers you know when you're on the elevator they look at you they're admiring your muscles your you know your tall dark and handsome aesthetics and they know you're black american and they ask you where are you from and you spread your wings and you say america i'm black american and you ask them where they from they say maryland and you know they're cosplaying. And you say, where's your grandmother from? And they go, oh, 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 Nigeria. You know, these ele elevated wow. tethers, there's something else. Wow. Man, real talk, man. Thank you so much, brother. But family, this this is why that 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 F, the $5 FBA thing, y'all not going to play that game. We're not going to play the $5 FBA game. What dude called up, you're clearly not an FBA dude. We know, we know when you ain't us. And notice the tethers. They're always trying to convince us to be ashamed of our lineage. You proud of slavery? Do you feel like you're American? The people I know say they African. They're they, they always trying to shame us into standing up for our lineage. Nigga, I'm very proud of my lineage. I'm proud of the foundational black Americans who endured some of the worst atrocities on earth and stood strong and wanted me to stand strong and sacrifice so that I would be good. I'm very proud of our ancestors. I would never disrespect them. We had some of the most phenomenal people enduring some of the worst conditions so that we wouldn't have to go through that. And while they were enduring these conditions, they were building the mightiest nation in recorded history off their backs. I'm going to always honor those people and give them the praise and the respect that they deserve. I'm not like you flea and tethers. I'm not ashamed of my folks. I speak to my ancestors. I try to feed my ancestors the energy and the libations they need to continue to give me strength. I draw my strength from my ancestors. We look back at our ancestors and see what they withstood. And we said, if Nat Turner could withstand that, if Harriet Tubman could withstand that, if Denmark Vesey can withstand that, all of this other stuff is a piece of cake. I can stand up to it, too. That's where we get our strength from. That's why we stand strong against the face of oppression and we don't turn and flee because we have riders that we can look back and get our inspiration from. So yeah, your tether class, you're never going to come around us trying to shame us about our lineage when your ass is over here. You understand? And you bounce from where you're from. And I'm not trying to shit on any immigrants or whatever. I know sometimes y'all want a better life or whatever. But when you come over here, you better fucking get your mouth right. Don't come over here after my ancestors made a lane for you, for you to come over and talk crazy. If you come over, you better show the same respect to my ancestry that I do. Not like this big head in Jerry Eden Tether calling up trying to talk crap. 
if it weren't for my ancestors making a lane for you, nigga, you'd be over there milking a camel. So let's get that shit straight. Yeah, I don't play these games with the, the, the tether Negroes. I don't play that game with these dudes. I don't play that game at all. All right, let's get Jenny in here. All right. Let's get Jenny. Miss Jenny, hop on, ma'am. Hey, I'm just I'm at the gym, so that's why there's music in the background. You don't hear that. But I just wanted to thank you so much for doing this space. I'm learning a lot. Um, I wanted to recommend everybody read Black Victim to Black Victor by Adam B. Coleman. He's a good friend of mine, and that is just a really exceptional book and speaks to really what you've been talking about tonight, where there's just Black Americans that are proud of the things that they've overcome, and then Black people who just see these things as constant constraints to their growth. And I just really appreciate what you're doing, because this nation was built on Black Americans. You guys are the strongest people I know, and I just want to thank you guys for Mm -hmm. doing that for your for your lineage and your legacy, they don't talk about the things that y'all be- have been through and overcome. They look at everything as an yes. obstacle. And, you know, we all go through challenges, no matter what your race is. I'm a little out of rescue from turning out there, guys. Um, but you've just got to toughen up, be bold. And we all have things that we go through and have to get through. And, you know, my ancestors are Irish. <laughs> they went through the potato famine, but I'm not out here always begging for potato reparations. And I actually do believe in reparations, but just, I think that a lot of people want to find um, ways to not meet their greatest potential, and that's what I heard a lot with that last guy. Right, right, right. Well, thank you so much, Miss Jenny. I appreciate you. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But yeah, I'm not going to let nobody try to project their shame onto us, just because you're ashamed of your lineage, See, a lot of these dudes, they, they don't even like to admit where they're from. You know what I'm saying? You ask where they're from, they start making stuff up. I ain't got to do that, nigga. My mama from Alabama, my dad's from Montgomery. I ain't got no problem with my lineage. I tell you where my mama, daddy, granddaddy, hey, we ain't got no problem with that. Proudly. My grandma's from North Carolina. My lineage goes right back to the damn maroon swamps over there in North Carolina. We ain't got no problem with telling you where our folks are from. We ain't ashamed. Y'all over here making up stuff. Like, nigga, where you from? I'm, 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 I'm from Iran. Nigga, how you from Iran with that big forehead? You know what I mean? You, you ran. That's what you mean. You mean I ran from Ethiopia. That's what you mean, nigga. And tell the whole truth. All right, let's get some more folks in here. Uh, let's get some more people in here we got a lot of folks in here tonight oh man we got a lot of folks in here tonight Um, raise your hand if you want to get on alright y'all raise your hand if you want to get on let's get um, amazing rum let's get amazing rum I think that's your name alright Amazing rum, hop on, brother. Where you at, man? Oh, hi. You hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up, brother? Man, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. Where you from, sir? Man, I'm from North Carolina, South Carolina area. We might as well say the Carolinas. I was born in South Carolina. And uh, I just wanted to come over here. To shot you out, and um, I need some of that deodorant because your boy kind of musty with the regular deodorant. Oh yeah, yeah, we got you, we got you. We're gonna fix that right on up, brother. Again, yeah, we're gonna go to rootworkstyle.com, get that. We got some of that vanilla, pure vanilla left. That's gonna get you right, man. You you can't be out here walking around musty. The women don't like that. Um, that is true. Children don't like it. So yeah, get that rootwork, man, at rootworkstyle.com. All right, we got some natural deodorant with some of that High John the Conqueror root in it. That's what our Foundation of Black American family members used to take with them all the time in their mojo bags for protection. All right, get that root work. That root work is no joke. And we got some other scents that we're going to have coming out pretty soon. Let's get Phil in here. Phil, let's get Phil. Mr. Phil. And let's get some women. We're, we got a lot of women on the bottom. Women, y'all just sitting down there chilling. 
all y'all women down there. I see y'all asses. You know, some of y'all women hop up here and say hi to everybody. There's a lot of women down here on the bottom who's just listening in. Now, I know y'all sitting there at home in your bonnet and your, your, your onesie. But yeah, y'all call up and say what's happening. Let's talk to the women in here. Um, what's up, brother? Hop on, sir. Hey, Tariq. What's going on? What's up, brother? How are you? Uh, I'm doing all right. Shit. I just uh, got off of work, and uh, I saw you were hosting the space. So um, I, I just really have, like, one question for you. Um, with like Go all, ahead. With um, all of these Trump indictments going on, um, what is, like, your overall opinion with, you know, Trump receiving his mugshot and him being, like, attacked by all these DAs and stuff, you know, like... What do you think about Trump going through all of this mess? Well, the thing is, um, you know, it's a political stunt. Yeah. It is a political stunt, what's going on. And, you know, him and Rudy Giuliani getting their mugshots taken. Um, you know, I think that, you know, some of the charges are bogus. But here's the thing. There is something called karma. Trump and those guys, when the... In New York, they were sitting up here co-signing brothers getting locked up. Rudy Giuliani was the forefather of the stop and frisk that was going on in New York where they were hemming innocent black men up. So, well, shit, the karma's biting him back in the ass. Now he has a mugshot. Yeah, now think... his name is... Uh, Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, do you think that... Um... Shit, um, I I forgot that woman's name already, but do you, do you think that like uh that black uh, DA in Atlanta? Do you think she like Fanny secretly... Fanny Willis? What was her name? Fanny Willis. Fanny Willis. That's yeah, her do name. You, do you think she might have taken that into account? Um, as she as she um got um Rudy Giuliani and Trump because they got like nine, of, was... they got like eight or nine of his buddies as well. Right. Yeah. That that I don't know. That I don't know. But I'm saying the the karma is real. You know, they sat up here, yeah. um, co signing, doing that shit to black people. Then it turned around and bit them. That same energy bit them right in the ass. So you know, the energy you give is the energy you will get. So that's what I will say about that. But anyway, <clears throat> thank you so much. Let's get um. This is ours. Whatever your name is. What's up, brother? Hey, what up, bro? How you doing? Uh, happy Monday to you, bro. How are you, sir? I can't call it shit. I ain't doing shit, bro. Chilling. Um, I I actually didn't even. I kind of came late. I didn't even like. I kind of came a little late. I just jumped in. What 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 was your uh? Man, if you don't get out of here and go eat them damn red beans that you done got boiling on the stove, this nigga sound like he is in there boiling some pig feet and red beans. Go eat them pig feet and red beans, brother. Don't call up confused. I'm not about to sit here and explain nothing to you. Man, I'm just sitting here chilling. I just got off Amazon, man. I've been working two shifts. Shit. What y'all in here doing? What y'all talking about? I just can't see what y'all talking about right now. I didn't give me something to drink. Got me some beans on the stove. What y'all here? I'm late. I know I'm a little late. What y'all what y'all in here talking about? Y'all talking about some women? What y'all talking about? Y'all talking about uh, Sukahana and them. Wait, I'm mean, y'all talking about something. I don't know what y'all talking about. Can you explain it to me real quick? No, my nigga. No, we can't. Damn. No, just sit back and listen. Ain't nobody about to give a recap. What kind of shit is that? Man, just sit down and drink your something and just you know listen and catch up. And there's a there'll be a replay later. But just listen to that, brother. Damn. Casino, hop on, man. Yo, casino. This uh, is casino. Casino. Can you hear How me? How are you? I can hear you, casino. Where are you from, man? I was born in Valdosta, Georgia, originally, but oh, definitely, definitely FBA. But you yeah, know, I just yeah. wanted to ask you: um, How are we supposed to? Def you talk about DeSantos. What's the difference between DeSantos and and Joe Biden or Joe Biden? Nothing. And, nothing. There, there is no difference. I mean, there, there is nothing. no difference. They all hate. 
they have contempt and hatred for black people. Mm -hmm. Nothing, not one thing. But I'm saying as far as Florida, um, DeSantis directly put a target on the backs of black people. He's been down there loud and proud in the Biden administration. They've done they've done nothing to, to thwart him. But I'm saying DeSantis because there's an immediate effect that's local where he didn't put a target on the backs of black people and they didn't got shot up down there. And he's right there flaming, flaming the damn fire. So that's why I'm saying he's complicit in that specific murder down there, those those specific murders down there. And the secondary people who are complicit, the white media and the other political structures. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not giving nobody a pass now. Let's be very clear. But anyway, let me get some more people in here. All right. Uh, don't think for a minute I'm giving Biden. Uh, hell no. Is this what? Is, who is this nigga feet on here? Nigga, why are your feet on here, brother? I don't really want to. I just want to know why this nigga got pictures of his feet. Hold on. The foot nigga. The foot dude. Oh, hold on, man. Hey. Hello? Hey, hey man. Yeah, I was wondering when are you gonna finally debate Cynthia G, man. She's been roasting your ass twenty four seven. Yo, okay, you're running, your you're, you're you're acting like a damn tether fleeing, man. Well, okay, this this must be a tether trying to project. Why you got pictures of your feet? These are the feet you used to run with, nigga. Well, that, that's the only thing I had to use. Like when when I'm running, that's the only thing. When I look down, that's the only thing I'm seeing is my feet. So where, where did so where did you tether from? Where did where did you run from, nigga? I where came did, off of a, a, a raft of the anti-black uh, Cuba. No, nigga, nigga, where, nigga, where's your family from? You little musty tether. Where's your family from? Where's your family? Cuba. From? I just told you, Havana. No, uh, I don't even. Well, I don't even believe you're Cuban. What What honest. do you think my accent is? No, that doesn't sound like a Cuban accent. What's What's your family's last name? Martinez. I don't even believe that. You didn't even say that with an accent, nigga. I don't believe that shit. Well, I mean, I'm Americanized. Uh, well, no, nigga. I, I believe you're probably from either Haiti or Jamaica somewhere. I don't believe you're Cuban. Nigga, I'm about to send Cynthia G over to y'all crib, nigga. Keep talking. Uh, that bullshit. Nigga, nigga, where, where are you from, Umbutu? Where are you from for real, bro? Louisiana. You're not from Louisiana. You're a musty tether. Where are you from, brother? Man, I'm trying to give you and don't, and cause, Detroit, you know, Detroit. You, you, you're bitch made because you keep trying to hide behind a woman, which shows how much of a bitch made dude you are. So you're from one of these countries where there's a lot of bitch made dudes. So where are you from? Just just admit where you're from. Well, I currently reside in Detroit right now. Nigga, where's your family from? Stop being ashamed. You tethers, us, your te your tethers are so ashamed. Cuba and I have a father from South America and Central America. Nigga, your father can't be from two places, all right? So what are you talking about? Y'all tethers don't even have your lives straight. You can't have a father from two places, nigga. I mean, it, we're all humans here. It doesn't matter where you're from, jeez. Yeah, it does matter where you're from, because if you are a lying bitch made tether like yourself, we need to know where you niggas are from so we can Tyree, avoid... can I come up to the museum with no shoes on, please? Um, well, nigga, you, those are the same feet you fled with and you might have Goya powder on your toes. So I don't want you to come up there, nigga. No, you're not welcome. So get your ass out of here. This nigga got pictures of his damn feet. Nigga, do you do like foot fetish videos for men? Are you one of these niggas? Because you got... You no, take a, you, I don't do you, any foot fetishes for men. I, nigga, are you, you just like that pinky doll chick. You be on um, um, TikTok acting like a robot for dudes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you. Balloon pop. Pop, pop, pop. Yes, yes, yes. You be doing that type of shit? No, no, no. I would rather I would rather listen to Fresh and Fit than do that. No, nigga. I think you do foot fetish videos for dudes. That's why you got pictures of your because you tethers would do anything for a dollar. I think you be putting your toes in niggas buses for money, nigga. I think that's what you're doing. That's why. You got no, I've never done that. No, nigga, you got a website called towbussy.com. That's what your website is. And I think that you be doing stuff strange for some change with your. Tyreek, you ask everybody where they're from, but we're. 
nigga, yes, yes, you're doing weirdo stuff. You got weird niggas in here. Let me get um, a caster in here. <clears throat> let me get my dude a caster. He's an LGBT brother. Let me see if he knows you. A caster, what's up, brother? Hey, um, so I'm healing up pretty nicely. You know, I got my body done. I got um, a full body makeover. I got the lipo. I got the BBL. I got the buckle fat removal and everything's healed up real nice. Um, so everything's turned out real good. Yeah. Now, when did you get all this done? Um, I got it done on Tuesday, like two weeks ago. So I'm about two weeks post-op. Um, everything's healing up pretty good. Um, you know, still laying on my stomach. Um, using the donut pillows and everything, but I'm doing real good. It was it was real rough there for a minute. I feel like someone just took a knife and just stabbed me like 30 times in my butt. Like when I woke up, it was pretty rough. But so, do you know the foot? Do you know the foot fetish guy? Has no. Have you guys course? Oh hell no. Okay. No. Did you go to Doctor Miami? No, I, I got it done here in Nashville, sir. Okay. Well, Devin. Well, let me have y'all connect with each other. Maybe y'all can um, work out a little payment plan with each other, and y'all do something for a little funny money. All right. Yeah, but the foot fetish dude. Yeah, that dude seems real moist. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Licking ice cream. Licking ice cream. <laughs> Licking ice cream. He's one of them niggas. What's up, um? Well, we got a lot of folks in here. A lot of folks in here. A lot of people in here. Yeah, the energy is getting real weird. The energy is getting very weird tonight, boy. When it gets late, the energy gets hella weird. Where are the women at? That's why we got to get some women in here to balance it out. We get some of these strange niggas calling up. You know. And that's why we got to get some women up in here. <laughs> We need some balance. Ladies, where you at? Where are the women? All right. Let's get Rivy in here. Rivy? We're looking for Rivy. Sir, sir I'm not a I'm not a lady, unfortunately, brother, but uh I do want damn, don't make me talk after a caster. Uh yeah. <laughs> I saw what happened this morning, you know, the spaces, the brothers were talking about it. Um, here we go again. This is now what last year was Buffalo. Uh, I don't know, man. All I can tell you is you guys need to keep your head on the swivel. These guys. No doubt. Thank, thank you, brother. It, was, it seemed like it was going to take you a minute to land your plane. Let me just go on with it. All right, let me get some more folks in here. Shout out to that, brother. Let's get um ATA. ATA, hop on ATA. Uh, good afternoon. I was just wanting to know your thoughts about the mass shooting uh, or the, the shooting over at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was another one. Yeah, there was. A, they, um, a, a faculty meet, um, you, um, a faculty member got shot today, and it was an Asian dude who shot the person. I'm trying to learn more about the victim. I'm trying to see what was going on with that. But yeah, I mean, shit, it was another shooting. Some Asian guy, I think he was a former student there, shot a faculty member, and you know, I don't know too many other details about it. So. So still learning, but I want to know, I do want to know who the victim was. I would like to know who the victim was. All right. All right. And speaking of root work, we're talking about root work earlier. You guys can go get root work deodorant at rootworkstyle.com. Rootworkstyle.com. Ladies, let me get a couple of ladies in here. Ladies, y'all pop on up here to say hi, especially some of y'all ladies who are new, because I do want to get some different energy in here now i know some of y'all might be it's late and you're at home with your dudes so i know how it is your dude is halfway asleep and he don't want to hear another man's voice i don't want the nigga to reach over on there and and sock you out i don't want y'all women to get punched on so if if you can hop on without getting punched on that would be great because we've had situations before on some of these um live chats where the women hop up and they got a nigga somewhere off in the corner 
And they're like, hey, wait a minute, who that is? And, you know, and then we haven't heard from these women again. If y'all remember on Instagram, the infamous Crazy Red <laughs> situation, you got to be a long time listener to know what the Crazy Red situation is. We had a sister call up, very lovely sister. She called me up. She was doing a live. And then the camera panned over to her dude. <laughs> this nigga just popped up at like four o'clock in the morning. And she's like, hey, guys, I got to go. We'd heard from that girl since. So we we got a little worried. I ain't heard a peep from that girl. Her social media disappeared. She disappeared. The nigga disappeared. So, yeah, we ain't heard nothing from our ass. So stuff like that, we got to be very careful. We don't want people to get in situations. You know, some of y'all women try to be strong and independent, but y'all do have a crazy nigga somewhere laying up there who will choke your little ass out if they hear another dude's voice. So y'all got to be careful. You know, y'all be trying to talk tough to save face. And what's up, Miss, um, what's your name? Miss Angela. What's up, dear? Hi, Tariq. How you doing? Um, what's up, I'm uh, good. fam? Good. Uh, I was just wondering, Tariq, because I was wondering if this was going to happen. Do you think them shootings that's uh, going on now, these mass shootings, do you think these are just random, or do you think this is in uh, direct retaliation for the uh, Montgomery Ball? Because, you know, yeah, talk, the male people is talk- yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah, a lot of that is some psychological retaliation for that because the white supremacists took an L down in Montgomery. The That image of black people standing up for themselves, beating the brakes off the white supremacists, going around the world, that image. Yeah, the white supremacists knew they took an L and they are cowardly by nature. The white supremacists are very cowardly. So they were like, you know, we're going to have to get some 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 retaliation and get back. Because of that, and, you know, they do little cowardly stuff. Let's go, LJ, EJ, that's your name, dear? EJ, hop on. Hi, Terry. Thanks for adding me. Thank you, EJ. Um, I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm in Florida. Don't, don't. And, yes. Oh, um, you, what, are you in Jacksonville? What part of Florida? No, I'm actually in Polk County. So, But I'm really from Tampa. Okay. Okay. So um, it's like really like races out here. I've noticed like a huge change. Um, they don't like try to hide it or anything. And I'm even like a little nervous about like hanging my FBA flags in my car because they are like strange out here. So how can we protect ourselves? My husband is a felon, so we can't have firearms. Oh. How can we like protect ourselves from all this danger? Yeah. Um, Get with like minded people and get on code with them. That's the way you protect yourself. You get around other people in that community. Y'all get on code with each other and you know where everybody's going. You know who to look for. If you're in trouble, y'all start acting as a community. Network with brothers and sisters down there. Back each other up. Let each other know that, hey, I got your back. You got mine. If I go out, I got you. You got me. We got to go back to that old school vibe, like just like in Montgomery. When we saw that situation in Montgomery, that was foundational black American men and women on code with each other. Nobody knew each other personally, but they knew each other. They knew they had to be on code with each other. So we got to have that kind of energy. Myra Amira. What's up, ma'am? Hello, Tariq. Um, Can I ask you a question that doesn't pertain to Florida? Um, yes, are you that Somalian girl? Um, you sound like that Somalian girl. No, I don't know a Somalian girl. Oh, okay, but go ahead, ma'am. Um, so, what do you feel about abortion being the highest death rate for Black Americans? Um, the, is that the highest death rate for Black Americans? Uh, yes, it is. Probably white supremacy would be the highest death rate for us, right? How so? Because we have to get abortions because of economic deprivation, which is caused by white supremacy. So the real economic problem would be white supremacy. Economic right? not caused by white supremacy. It's caused by uh, black culture. What's black culture, ma'am? Not necessarily black culture, but ghetto culture, which uh, affects a lot of the black community. What's ghetto culture? What do you mean what's ghetto culture? It's pretty well known, you know. 
people that live low lives, I don't know what poor, you... shoot each other, pour around, get pregnant, kill their babies. You know, it's like a never ending isn't... circle. Fatherless families, isn't that single mothers? Mm -hmm. But isn't that what you do in your culture, ma'am? Not at all. No. Yes, it is. That's why you had to. Your family had to flee your culture. That's because of the the pregnancy and the ghetto ness, and they had to flee to America, ma'am. Right? Um, what family fleeing to America from where? What do you mean? Your family. Your family. No, your my family, family had to flee, flee to America. America. My family's always been in America. No, they haven't, ma'am. Because you're not a foundational black American, nor are you Native American. Yeah, I'm not black at all. So they had, they, but I know that. Yeah, but foundational your black family, Americans aren't the starting race of the uh, U.S. If but anything, man, we're the foundation Americans, of them. which technically aren't man, black. Which you're not. Which you're not. Which yeah, you're but not, you're not Which either. you're not. Which you're, but I'm a foundational black American, ma'am. So I'm native to the United States. I didn't immigrate. Nobody in my family immigrated here. We built the country from scratch. No, you your didn't. family immigrated your family here. Got, your family yes, got ma'am. shipped from yes, a boat ma'am. on Africa. Ma'am. Ma'am. If you're, if ma'am. You're, if you're there was no you United actually States. in slavery. That there was, happened. ma'am. There was, there was no United States until my family built it and your family your fled family to it, didn't ma'am. Why did your family have to play? All your family did was what, what? pick some damn cotton ma'am. and make a little bit of linen. That's ma'am. not building a Ma'am, why did your family why did why did your family have to flee the poverty from their homeland? What's my homeland? You're acting like you know me. Well, ma'am, you're the one who is, who's ashamed to admit where you're from, ma'am. You're the one I'm who's ashamed. You, why are you hey, so, born and raised? My family ma'am, why why are you the one ashamed? I'm not. I'm not ashamed. I'm not my family's from Alabama. Family. My family's from Alabama. Amazing. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. You guys like to no, call you yourself foundational, ma'am, but none of ma'am, you have a foundation. Ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, my family's from Alabama and North Carolina. I have no problem bigging up my family. You're ashamed to even admit where your family fred- fled from, ma'am. So that shows the the lack of pride that you have for your own lineage. No, my family. You're trying to project British. that on we us. Fully, we came and conquered. Stop. You're not British, ma'am. You're a wannabe. You're not British in any sense of the word. No, you're not. Do you want me to post Stop my uh, DNA? No. Ma- ma'am, you're not British in any sense of the word. Stop it. I mean, yeah, you're I'm not. not British, but my ancestors this, were. D- yeah, it, nobody, nobody in your family is. Ma'am. A lot of them are. Actually. Nobody. In you know, family. I do enjoy no, they, a cup no, of tea not. from time no. to time. I bet you enjoy probably. No. I don't know. Stop it, ma'am. What do Africans eat? Stop it. Eat? Stop like, it. Go, go, go Stop, go ma'am. Buy, whatever the fuck. Ma'am, you're not. Yeah, you're probably somewhere from East Africa faking the funk. I'm ma'am. not faking Stop nothing. It. I'm not from East Africa. You're just mad because you're yes. from East Africa. Ma'am. Ma'am, you're faking you. the funk. I can you're smell not, it in your voice. You're not, you're not British, ma'am. Stop I'm, it. You want to be white. I'm, I'm, a, you're not. I'm a you're gorgeous not. little white girl. No, you're not, ma'am. I, you're probably from Guatemala. Can we, can we get back on the topic, actually? Ma- so, ma'am, ma'am, you're probably from Guatemala somewhere. You're not white. You're not an Anglo. You want to be white. Are you ma'am. saying Stop that it's it. a negative thing to be from Guatemala? That's pretty racist. Didn't I, I said it wasn't. I didn't say anything negative about Guatemala. You're, it's negative it to negative like it's, it's, negative. It negative. it's negative. Pretty negative. It's negative. It's it's to negative. Read. It's negative to front like you're British. When you're not, ma'am, I'm not. Why are you so ashamed who you are? I'm not ashamed. Why are you so? Yes, you are, ma'am. Yes, you are. What? What about me? You're very ashamed, ma'am, because you're not even being honest about where you're from. Because you're too ashamed. That's why your family had to flee. To had to flee from. My family isn't impregnating themselves twenty four seven and killing off their own. Ma'am, ma'am, at least my family's not fleeing and lying about their ethnic background because they're ashamed. That's the great part of being a foundational black American. I don't have to walk around with running shame. You're just fleeing with shame all over the place, ma'am. I'm not shameful. How do you feel? <clears throat> yes, you are, ma'am. You're very ashamed of where you're from. And that's okay. I would be ashamed too if I was living in poverty and slums and running around with head lice and fleas and ticks and I couldn't cut it and I had to go run to a country that foundational black Americans built so that I can eat on a daily basis. So yeah, I would kind of feel a certain way about that too. Um, Did you have a question for me? 
Um, no, ma'am. I just wanted to let you know that I understand your shame and I sympathize well, with you. I but I, you, but, you but, but, ma'am. But 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 stop trying to project your shame onto foundational Black Americans, ma'am. Yeah, um, I'm 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 really getting some some Nicaraguan vibes from you. You you, you understand? I don't I, have I a can kind of tell. Brown in my blood. I'm pure. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am, you're pure bullshit. That's no, what I'm you're pure. Pure, pure beautiful bull- Aryan white. Okay. Oh, ma'am, um, please, and can we talk about, please. Again, you are not foundational. The only you didn't, you ma'am, didn't make nothing. nothing. It was the Native American. Ma'am, there's nothing Aryan about you. The only thing that's air is the plane you got on to get in the air to get the hell out from Central America. All right, ma'am, you came out here from from Panama somewhere. Yeah, you okay, let's stop. From Central America, have money for airfare. Them niggas are ma'am. Ma'am, those stop talking about your family. Don't don't talk about your family like that, it's ma'am. Not my family. All right. No, nope, that is your family. They're ma'am. running. They're more athletic than your fat ass foundational black American. You do nothing, ma'am. You, you ma'am. scroll on the internet and you rot. Nothing about you is foundational uh, ma'am. and building up America. That's yes, it is. Yes, it is, ma'am. That's why you had to flee to it, ma'am. Um, if it no. weren't for us, we didn't flee. Would, we ma'am, came here, we you, conquered. Ma'am, if, 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 it, if it weren't for us, you'd be down in Peru riding a llama, all right? So let's stop all of the, um, the bullshit, all right? Well, what's... What, ma'am? Go ahead. Um, go ahead. Say, there you go Rosarita, again. go ahead. You're go talking ahead. negatively about Ro- South Americans as if it's so bad to ride llamas I'm in not- Peru. What's I'm wrong not, with that? I mean, but I, I love, so I love that. But that American no. that just eats McDonald's all day and claims to have there's done something nothing right for this wrong country. with riding your llama, riding your llama up at Machu Picchu down in. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I'm not saying it's negative, but don't be ashamed of it, I'm ma'am. If you rode your, that's just not who I am. Those aren't my people. And yes, if those it are is. your people. No, yes, you know, so be it. Yes, it is, ma'am, ma'am. I hear coffee beans from your homeland of Colombia in the back. You ride a donkey like Juan Valdez. You um, pick coffee beans. No, that's you're okay. Coping. You're just coping. Ma'am, that's okay. I love coffee. Coffee's delicious. I you in you your burrow. Coffee. You've got to stay awake. You in your burrow beans. picking them coffee beans. I love it. You and Juan Valdez picking them coffee beans are delicious. So don't be ashamed of that, ma'am. You got a rich heritage. Why are you so ashamed of your heritage? I mean, man? why are you ashamed to just admit you're African and you're not no foundational Black American? Foundation, uh, ma'am, uh, that's the thing. I, uh, nobody in my family lives in Africa, ma'am. I can't sit here in front that I'm from some place and I'm not. Nobody's my in my family's been in Africa. I'm a foundational Black American. So, ma'am, you and your borough were able to come over here and enjoy some of the benefits of foundational Black Americans that my family built. So, thank you. All right. No, I'm enjoying the benefits of my <clears throat> British ancestors. British, they my created, they created great there's, society here, based on the foundation of God. Ma'am, there's nothing British. And you. all your people did. You're a wannabe, yeah, ma'am. There's nothing British about you. You're such a wannabe. Stop being ashamed of your South American heritage, ma'am. South America is a beautiful country. Uh, it's a beautiful continent. There's so many great things down there, ma'am. They got dental work down there. You can get BBLs for cheap. You got a lot of great culture down there from your homeland. Stop being ashamed, ma'am. All right. They got great ashamed of your African culture. You can get your ears gauged. Ma'am, I I haven't been in Africa. Nobody's been in my the countries in Africa don't even exist when my, my family lived there hundreds of years ago. But Peru still exists where you're from. All right. Your homeland still exists, ma'am, and that's fine. Okay. All right. So just be proud of your culture, ma'am. You got a great culture. You got great I, prices on I kilos of cocaine. Just why, because why, the ma'am? country wasn't established in Africa thousands of years ago and I'm claiming you were from some country doesn't mean you weren't African. Well, the country doesn't every- have to be established for you to be African. But, you could have still been twerking to your little Mumbai but, music and um, but ma'am, using that logic, if we're going to, because you're South American, let's be clear, um, you're African because many of the South American countries, they were, you know, filled with people from Africa. These were slave colonies. All of the culture in South America actually comes from Africa. The Spanish rice, 
There's no such thing as Spanish rice. Rice I'm and Spanish for yellow. Me. You know, you know, you know, the uh, Spanish rice is basically jollof. You know, there's, there's an Africanness to it. So, yeah, we're going to use that logic. You're more African than me, right? I'm not South American. So yes, that logic are. is flawed to the point where you're just making up. Hey, Tyreek, I have a question me. from your. Hold on, dear. Hold on. Um, hold on. More. I'll get you me. In a minute. I mean, I'm, I'm dealing with um, Rosarita. I'm dealing with her right now. Let me let me deal with her. Um, but yes, dear Rosarita, you, there's nothing wrong with being an, an an African woman from South America. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Rosarita, I mean, there is nothing wrong with that, but that's not me. You're just spewing yeah, lies. Is. You're a liar. That's a sin. It's, it's not a sin, ma'am. It and, is uh, a sin. You... Lying is a sin. I want to hear her no. question now. Uh, no, child molestation is a sin as well. That's what we're worried about these Catholic priests, ma'am. You're Catholic, so why aren't you concerned about these Catholics raping all these boys? So just because everything has negatives to it. It was just published, though. You guys aren't doing anything. Just three weeks ago, The Guardian published that. Three, there were 300 more. Okay. What is the that, obsession with these white priests and little penises? Just because I happen to be a part of a there's negative activities going on doesn't mean I partake in such and I agree with such. Okay, so keep uh, the same of energy course for I abortion. Child molestation, you asked Tyreek about the abortion, The actual Catholic honey. faith and so following okay. the Bible has okay, nothing okay. to do with that. Okay, well, let me stop there because I don't even believe you're Catholic. Well, you, you might be, but you're South American Catholic, so, you know. <clears throat> because my thing, I don't really want to get into the religion thing because I just, you know, I'm I'm more concerned about Mira lying about being British, you know, being a wannabe Anglo, and you're clearly South American. Okay, that's my concern, Mira. Tariq, I don't have to prove nothing to you. I, you well, know, me... I would love to see your lineage all the way back to you being an FBA, which is a, just a bold faced lie. We all know you were in Africa. Mira, can you get your donkey, please? Tariq, you're worth about half a fucking camel. Mira, can you please? Mira, can you please get your donkey? I know you, you got to pick that them coffee. I don't beans. own a donkey. All I own is nice British royalty crowns. Ma'am, I know you got to pick them coffee beans before it gets too late, but you know, you got to really get your donkey, ma'am. You know, <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you, dear. I'm, you know, I'm Drew, not... you can keep the donkeys. You probably need them. <laughs> you could sell them. Get yourself a little well, bit just, of money because I know I'm you're saying, poor because you're an I'm FBA. just saying don't be ashamed. I'm, I'm saying don't be ashamed of your lineage, ma'am. I am not ashamed of nothing. Yeah, yeah, I'm why don't very you admit... proud to be a white little British girl, you know? No, ma'am, British nothing. Just admit that you're from Colombia, ma'am. Why just don't admit you admit you're from Africa. Just admit well, you're not an FBA. Well, ma'am, ma'am, there's nobody in my family has lived in Africa for years. So, yeah, if, if they did, I'd be like, hold on. Okay. Um, I get your donkey. Argument. Tariq, okay. I said you could keep the damn donkey. Go sell it or something so you can get yourself some ma'am. food. You look a little okay. gaunt in your profile picture, bitch. Well, ma'am, okay, watch, watch your little potty mouth and go get me a vanilla latte from your the coffee beans picked by your donkey. How about that? I want some latte vanilla with caramel. Latte's a little bit white. I'm pretty sure South Americans just drink it with a little bit of milk. No, ma'am, stop it. Stop wow, it. I cannot believe you're feeding into white culture like that. I thought you denounced it. No, ma'am, stop um, denying your Latina culture, ma'am. Why are you so ashamed of your Latina culture? Um, uh, I can't be ashamed of something I'm not. Yes, you are. And you've called before. I remember you. You're that the Latina girl. And I've called you out now. I remember your voice because you called before pretending to be Anglo. You do this all the time. And, um, you know, you, you that's your MO. Can, You're I, very can I ask you a question? What, what makes ahead. you assume that I'm South American? Um, because I can hear it in your voice. And you called before, man. you the same white supremacist well, girl. You, uh, oh. There's nothing about my, that's kind of racist, actually, to assume a voice can be a race. You know, go ahead, mama. Your, your donkey is just making all of this noise, and I just Tariq, go sell them or cut the heads off and fucking can, eat them. Can I'm you give your donkey? Because they're can not. You, mine. Can you give? Can you give your? Can you give your donkey some oats, ma'am? Give your donkey some oats. They're yours yes. now. They're yours. 
Okay, because I, 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 I'm not going to keep talking to you if your donkey keeps acting the damn fool now. There's only one person at a I time. Gave you, I gave you 100% permission to go kill that donkey. All right. Anyway. All right, dear. But anyway, Mira, thank but, you so much. Yeah, good, goodbye, Mira. You, you and your donkey are just doing the most. All right. All right. All right. Anyway. Let me get some more folks on here. Uh, yeah, she's a wannabe. She ain't British. Let me get Sir Major. Sir Major, hop on, brother. Let's get Sir Major. <laughs> Sir up, Major, where you What's at, happening, man? I'm good, man. How you doing, fam? Every, I mean, everything's fine. I just wanted to come up and, uh, you know, thank you so much for these spaces. Thank you so much for keeping us on cold. Uh, you know, every yes, once in a sir. while, we got to come up here and pour into the brothers that do the work and that also, uh, you know, mentor us. And so just come up here to say thank you. Appreciate it. Man, thank you so much. I appreciate that, brother. No doubt. Uh, let's get um, Rodrigo. Where you at, Rodrigo? Let's get Rodrigo in here. There you go. What's going on Shit, with you, Mr. My Rodrigo? dick just got hard. Tariq, talk to me. Your oh, voice is oh, intoxicating. Oh, 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 the major's oh, in oh, here. Oh, you oh, can't oh, judge me. You can't judge oh, me when oh, the major's oh, in here, motherfucker. Don't don't start bullshitting me, okay? The major's in here. I want to hear him. Oh, he, he's taking it to a dirty place. Roll oh, yourself, so motherfucker. On? The major's in here. All oh, right, Rodrigo, is everything okay with you, sir? Goddamn right. I just love that when people show the Aztec fucking goddamn pyramids, nobody wonders who built them because they know motherfucking Mexicans built them in the middle of the sun doing that fucking concrete and nobody fucking even doubts it. Right. What part of Mexico are you from, brother? Bro, I'm half Mexican, half Lebanese, so I'm fucking Arab. So you can't out minority me, motherfucker. You can't shit talk about minority. I'm a fucking Arab and half Mexican. And I enter this country legally by state illegally, so I'm a fucking alien. And finally, I got my DACA. You know why? Because Obama, this Nigerian amazing man, gave me a chance to work in America. So you know what? I know shit goes different ways, but, you know... You take the good with the bad. This motherfucker gave me a chance to work. How could I be against him? Even though he likes fucking little kids. Well, you know, other world other world leaders do fucked up shit all the time. All right. That's all right. Yeah, that's what you say. Well, you got a response, motherfucker. Yeah. Run your fucking, run your little music, bitch, because you ain't got nothing to say. I don't know. What, I don't even know what you're talking about, to be honest. I don't, I don't know what you're saying. All right. What, what are you took saying? took a shit exactly? all over you and you smelled it and you were like, what happened? And I was like, it's shit. My shit from my asshole in your face. That's what happened. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I still well, love you. Thank you, you for letting me talk. I love you. Hey, brother. Thank you for letting me talk. I couldn't thank you enough. Thank you, Rodrigo. I appreciate you, brother. All right. I have no idea what he was talking about, to be honest. I, I just don't know what he's talking about. It, it, a lot of it had to do with his ass. You know, he had a bunch of stuff to say about his ass, and his, he's getting hard. It was very moist. You know, it was very moist. So I don't know what he was talking about. He was a, a Hispanic Muslim. I don't know what he was talking about. It was all over the place. Okay. But more power to him. More power to him. All right. All right. I know. He wants to wipe shit on people. I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know what you're trying to do, Rodrigo, but, you know, I don't want problems with you, Rodrigo. The stuff you were saying, I do not want any problems with you, Rodrigo. Because if you run up on somebody, I don't know what you're going to do. You might have dookie on your hands. I don't want you touching me. You know, I don't want the chemicals from your your, your bodily fluids rubbing on me sir so yes i will not bother you you got that you know because if some go down and we get to fighting and i lose the stakes are too high because it doesn't sound like you're just gonna take you know you're just gonna take knocking the motherfucker out sound like you're gonna take some pussy with you 
you know, it sounds like you like to conquer niggas. So, yeah, I don't want to take that risk. All right. So, yeah. You just don't, you don't fight fair. All right. So, yeah. So, I do not want no problems with you. You, know, you get a nigga naked and then put some Goya powder on his butt cheeks and make you a little human taco and and, and <laughs> get to eating him. And, you know, I don't I don't really want that kind of energy. You know. But um, more power to you, brother. All right, let's get some more. Should I get some more people? Because the energy is getting real weird. All right. The energy is getting very weird. What's up, Amor? I see you, dear. I, I see you in here, more. All right, we got a lot of folks in here. A lot of people in here. Should I get one more call? Even though the energy is getting very weird now? Because, yeah, it's getting real weird. We're getting some of the international callers in here, and they're into some other stuff that we're just not used to as foundational black Americans. All right. They're into a lot of stuff that we're really not used to. All right. So let me try one more. I think I'll try one more. All right. Let me see. Who is this person? Let's try Bruce Wayne. All right. Let's try Bruce Wayne. Let's see what we got with Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne, let's give it a shot, bro. Oh, uh, hey, um, I just wanted to say that uh, I don't blame her for denying her heritage. Um, you know me. You already know my story. I'm 95% white, but I'm partially black. But I, I don't identify as black, even though I'm light skin. I'm like Mira. I, I, Mira actually told me privately she's Puerto Rican, so that is her heritage. She just lies about it, whatever. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Let me get critical in here. Critical, hop one, brother. Yo, what's the word, Tariq? I'm good. Critical, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. Doing good. I guess I want to ask you about your um your, your movie that your documentary that you have coming out. Um, is there a segment where it's going to be like back and forth where you had other rappers, you know, saying incorrect things and then you come back and debunk them? Is that going to be in your documentary? Um, the, the, the layout kind of is, I, I wanted some people from, you know, Caribbean, Puerto Rican style to be in it, but, you know, nobody would really step up. So we're going to kind of put some of those narratives in there okay. and debunk. Okay. There's a, a lot of noise going on there, brother, but thank you. But you'll see, you'll, you'll see how we put it together. It's going to be very interesting. Let's get, um, what's your name, man? Um, big white showed. It's an interesting name. Big White Chode. Hop in, man. Yo, Big Tariq. What's going on, bro? I'm good, man. What's oh yeah, I remember you. I remember you, man. What what where you been hiding, man? You know, in uh you know, in your mother's pussy, sir. Uh, oh, right. My mom don't have a pussy, but yeah. Sir. It's, yeah, the, yeah, your dad has one, but not my mom. Sir. Your dad has you sound one. very moist, sir. Take there pull the thong go. out your pussy, sir. All right. right. Sir. So what's going on? So what's happening over there in um, the, the trailer parks of Minnesota? What's happening over there, bro? You know, we have your mother. Uh, you know, she's clamping around, knocking over the Bud Light and heroin needles. Uh, it's a really a uh, mess to pick up, sir. Tell your mother to move her badonkadonk out the way, sir. She's knocking over my mess, my right, sir. And, uh, and let me give you a little heads up. Uh, the badonkadonk is played out. I know the white supremacists like to use old black slang. But that's that's on the level of jive turkey. So either step up your damn black slang, or, or stop trying to use some of our language. Sir, you're you know, stick to tuna. You're stick, listen, stick to. I need you to stick to tuna casserole and rice crispy treats, and stop trying to fuck with our culture. All right, sir. Stick with to what you know best. Stick to what you know best is living with the you're grandma, fleeing, watching sir. the. No, sir. No, 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 no. Stick to what you know best. Um, <sighs> watching the prices rise with the grandma and putting air in the tires of the trailer. All right. Three. What's on your mind? Yes, sir. Why are you deflecting, sir? We know. I'm not deflecting. And by your, the way, your mother loves one of you, sir. Um, sir, are you going to Bob Barker's funeral? 
because I know a lot of white people. He just died, and a lot of you white supremacists like Bob Barker, so sir, that's one of your icons. Sir, you haven't. So are you going to go to the funeral? Sir, you haven't slid from Mac Dre. It's been over 20 years, sir. I haven't slid from where? I didn't you that. haven't slid from Mac Dre, sir. It's been over 20 oh, years okay. in, the Bay, in the Bay Area, oh. sir. Right, 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 right. But listen, listen, sir. Um, we got to get that meth out of the community. We, what are we going to do to get that meth out Tariq, of the community? Tariq, I'm actually doing just... a, a Hood Mr. Beast challenge where I'm giving back Popeye's gift cards in the hood. It's a social experiment. Oh, wow. Right. No, that's going to be fly. That's going to be great. Because what we're doing, we're going to start giving BBLs to um, assily deficient white women. So we're going to have um, Britney Spears, all the white women from your community. Sure, have, you heard of a pog? have you heard of a pog? Um, yeah, but y'all don't have too many of them. So we're going to start giving BBLs to the white women in your community. Sir, so. I don't want you on my pogs anymore, sir. Right. Yeah, y'all don't have. I don't too want your T fifties staring at my pogs, sir. Your T fifties, they're glad. They're. Mm. I don't want. I don't want them gazing at my pogs, sir. Mm. Right. It's the only thing you don't have pogs, y'all have bogs. Y'all got white men that you guys are ogling over, and they're dunks. You know, y'all y'all white dudes like each other's butt cheeks, and that's what y'all do. Y'all get into a lot of bussy action with each other, sir, but that's okay. You're projecting that's okay. your pussy fantasy, sir. Um, sir, that, sir, that is sir. Your bussy um, lips but, are smacking together, so, no, no. Oh, sir. That, that that's you projecting, sir. Because sir, you your have a cut mobile out. is messing up, sir. You're sir, cutting in and out, sir. sir. That's you. You have a cut out picture of Justin Bieber in your living room with the mouth cut out, and you do things to it whenever your favorite song comes on. So that's you. Don't project that onto me. All right, Tariq. Tariq, you're sounding real moist right now, Tariq. No, 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 sir. Pull the thing out your bus, you play. No, sir. You're the one who gets on the hood of your car, bends over, pulls your thong to the side, and then plays the song, Try That in a Small Town. That's sir, you. That's not me. Sir, I have these pogs <laughs> shanking that. I, I have these pogs doing the rump shaker to Brother K Flex, okay? All right. I have, that, these, that, I have these pogs twerking. Thank you so much. All right. Because <laughs> this could just go on and on. All right. Anyway. Okay. Let's see what else we got going. Let me see. Um, um, well, we got a lot of people in here. It's a lot of y'all in here. By the way, go to... Y'all need to follow my YouTube channel, Tariq Radio, on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Tariq Radio. That's the YouTube channel. Subscribe there. All right? Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already subscribed to Reek Radio. And also go to RootWorkStyle.com to get that RootWork deodorant. Very good deodorant, RootWorkStyle.com. Anyway, let me get up out of here, guys. It's been real. Puppy Akute and Lola Vuve to the family. Y'all be good. Peace.